They don't rap. To kind of expound on that a little bit, I want to talk about MC8 because that whole conversation that we had about Dave East and MC8's name was brought up. I think that people took that as an opportunity to go ahead and get some uh, attention. Now, I think that, and we don't know MC8 from a can of paint, don't got no problem with MC8, but we know some people MC8 work with yeah. and um, very opportunistic people. And I think that when you brought that up, they they took that as an opportunity to run with it. I think that whole thing kind of turned into a publicity stunt. But all that being said, some real shit was going on with you. They threw your number out. So I want to apologize to you for that. Nah, that wasn't y'all. That was just some bitch shit. And we handled it. He, okay. know, he know what the truth is. <clears throat> he know how shit gets handled. And I got it in the real way. Like, nigga, I gave my number. Like, hey, I wasn't even dissing you. I was, I was just saying I was surprised. Did you? Woo -dee -woo. Exactly. But oh, boy, that's all. They don't know I'll be around those blocks. I know these niggas. None of the real niggas came out and was like, face on, no, not, not the not, no. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody from Long Beach say no shit like that. Inglewood, Comp, nobody. It was just niggas in the industry got their feelings hurt. And some niggas from New York, I was like, well, they <laughs> hit me up on my Instagram, like, really, nigga? Come on, man. Come on, man. You on the Instagram? You gonna gang gang me on the Instagram? It's one nigga. I was doing a show in Atlanta. We in Atlanta. Okay. I mean, okay. You know I'm not. So you got a couple threats from that. Yeah. No. But see, <laughs> listen, it's a new year. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, I'm glad them them kids they found out what the what the truth was, because they don't know who the fuck I'm connected to. All they see is this nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't know. They they yeah. They they don't know. But it it gets real serious, especially on that side. You know what I'm saying? We not. You know, we're not starting gangs in jail. You can't even do that. You start a gang in jail. You know what you know what that is? Nope, never been to jail like that. Oh well. You start a gang in jail that's never been there. That means you need protection. But somebody's been running through your booty hole. Oh shit. Damn sure nothing about that. Oh yeah. You can't start no gang in jail, nigga. They start on the streets where you from, flat out. You can't even join a gang in jail. Because you know what that means? Somebody running through your booty hole. And you're scared. I don't know if that was too real. I don't even know if I could even say that because... You're going to hit my percent podcast. You're good. Well, listen. I'm running for mayor of New York. <laughs> Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we was asking our man, like, what's this shit? He running for mayor for real? When he said this a flyer. Why is he laughing? Because he was like, <laughs> if you're in a gang, you're getting your asshole blown out. But y'all know I'm running for mayor in New York, right? I know, right? <laughs> Just the transition was funny as hell. Newark, uh, first place, born there. Or Jersey. And, um, Family still there. I got a lot of family there, and I love Newark. And Newark deserves to be a number one city. That's right. It deserves to be a number one city. So that's what my job is. Is I, I get tired of people talking about there's no jobs. America, the, the, no jobs is not the problem. That's not the fucking problem. The problem is that. They stop teaching people skills in school. Mm -hmm. Not only uh, mechanics, now they got so many skills creating um, uh, uh, computers, uh, fi fix fixing computers, creating programs. They mm -hmm. still talking about Columbus. Columbus, they should take history and make that shit some shit you, you can take if you want to, because it's all bullshit. Mm -hmm. 
Good point. It's all bullshit. You should take history in college, but vocational skills. So these kids have a chance when they get out of school. They don't have a chance. They don't even know how to balance checkbooks. Let me ask you a question. Did they tell you how to do your taxes in school? Hell no. Where the fuck you supposed to learn that shit? And it's mandatory. Mm -hmm. So how the fuck you supposed to just know how to do some shit? You ain't even you know, what the fuck is this? Those. That's what I really want to do is implement the first vocational school in Newark. Start there. Because Newark is a, a chopper city. It's, it's really diverse. And spread from there. And like that be the the uh, blueprint for everywhere. So you're very, you're very serious about this. Listen. By the time I'm going to it's going to be some, you're going to come to Newark and like, Faison did this? Yeah, that's going to be my legacy. Don't. Faison did this? Not Big Worm. Faison put kids, gave them an education, a real education, gave them a, a fighting chance, not some bullshit ass, uh, Christopher Columbus sailed. <laughs> Black people were from Africa and they got on a boat. Yeah. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. That's dope, man. Yes, sir. Um, let's talk Snoop and Eminem. Are y'all gonna wait, wait? Are y'all gonna vote though? Can we vote? No, we from South Jersey. Can we vote for that? No. You from South Jersey? Yeah. I yeah, should have South Jersey. Hey. That ain't nothing. Oh, see? I mean, you got to come down, man. Hell yeah. We'll take care of you. Let us know. I'm going to be everywhere. Definitely got to come down to the spot. Um, what did you say about Snoop? And, uh... Did you hear about the Snoop and Eminem? Um, little few they got going on. If you did, what you think about them? I don't know. I I, I was like, wow. I thought they was cool. I, you, know, I, you know, I thought they was cool. I didn't know they were. Um, I get what Snoop's saying. Like, yeah, yeah. I definitely get what he's saying. Like, yeah. You got Eminem on your top 10? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why not? He, was he white boy or what? He gets away with shit that we can't get away with. He got opportunities already that we don't have. Right, he says he has uh, says fag in all his songs. Then he does a song with Elton John to make it all good. It's a big spectacle. <laughs> oh, I believe in days. It's, like, <laughs> you know, it's all good. I'm like okay, so he has opportunities that Snoop, like I say. I remember Snoop from nothing to the biggest rapper ever. And then um, I remember I remember hearing, I heard Eminem first at um, Sway Tech, Sway and Tex. They were Sway and Tex at, at their house. And I was like, God damn. He said, this is white girl. I said, that ain't not shit. Because mm -hmm. um, Sway and Tech really discovered Eminem. I don't okay. know. No. Ask them about it. So, um, I was like, "He's gonna be huge." I got it, and I was bumping that stand. Hey, yeah, and I ran for 